Hey everyone, Caroline Roberts here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys five of the best Bible verses for sleep. So if you have issues sleeping at night, if you struggle with insomnia and lack of rest, then this video is for you. So if you're interested in watching more, then definitely stay tuned. Caroline Roberts here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm super excited to dive into five of the best Bible verses for sleep. Now there are many reasons why you may not be getting sleep at night and as we go over these verses I'm also going to highlight some of those reasons why maybe you're not getting enough sleep and how you can work on those different areas so that you can be getting the amount of rest that you need for your health, for your body, for your well-being, all right? So I really hope that you find these verses helpful and encouraging. I know that in times in my own life when I struggled with getting sleep and rest that these were very helpful to me. So without further ado, let's jump into verse number one. Verse number one is Proverbs chapter three, verse 24. And it says, when you lie down, you will not be afraid. When you lie down, your sleep will be sweet. I just love this verse like it is God's will for you to have not just sleep but sweet sleep good dreams good rest right so this is very important rest is actually very important to God it goes all the way back to Genesis right God worked for six days and then on the seventh day after he created all of creation even God rested. So if God rested, then we as humans, we are made in his image. We need to rest as well. And I just love this verse. I just love this declaration. God wants me to have sweet sleep. God wants me to have sweet rest. All right, so that is the first verse. Let's move on to verse number two. So verse number two is Psalm 127 verse two. And it says, it is useless for you to work so hard from early morning until late at night, anxiously working for food to eat, for God gives rest to his loved ones. It is useless to just work and work and work, and then you never get an opportunity to even enjoy that work. Maybe you work all year, right? And you don't ever take vacation, or you don't ever you know, take time off, or maybe you're just hustling, you're grinding, right? You're trying to get the bag, you're trying to get that money, so you wake up early, you're grinding, you're trying to find clients, um, you're just working and working and working, you're hustling, you have this mentality that I have to chase this, I have to chase that. But when you have confidence and you know that God is my provider, he clothes the lilies of the field, he feeds the ravens and the birds, then he's gonna take care of me, he loves me. What more me than the birds and the lilies? So when you know that God is your provider, then you can rest in knowing that he's taking care of you. You don't do it all in your own strength, but you give your cares to him. You do your part and then you let him do the rest, honey. So I love that verse so much because it just gives me confidence in knowing that God is my provider. God is going to take care of me. Overworking myself is not going to add anything to my life but stress, right? And we don't need all that stress and that anxiety over here. That is not what we're trying to do, right? We want peace. We want a sound mind and that is God's will and desire for you. All right, so let's move on to verse number three. Verse number three is 2 Timothy verse one and seven and I love this verse so much. It's one of my favorite verses and you've probably heard it before and it says, for God has not given us the spirit of fear but of love and of power and of a sound mind. I kind of touched on this verse a little while ago but one of the biggest things that keeps us from sleeping right we talked about people who are overworking but another thing that may keep you from sleeping is if you're just filled with fear if you're filled with terror maybe you've gotten nightmares like nightmare dreams in the past and you're afraid to go to sleep because you don't want to get nightmares maybe you're just scared there's just constant terror that that is following you i just want to pray for you right now lord god in the name of jesus lord we break the spirit of fear for you have not given us the spirit of fear but of power of love and of a sound mind so i declare peace 
and sound mind over your people right now in the name of Jesus. I declare sweet rest and sweet sleep in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I pray that they do not have to be anxious about anything, but in everything, Lord God, that they would just come to you with their prayers and supplications with thanksgiving, Lord, and that your peace, which surpasses all understanding, will guard their hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. So I just declare that over you in the name of Jesus. We say, Amen. You don't have to live in fear. You don't have to live in worry. There are practical and spiritual steps you can take. Um, if you're having nightmares and you're doing things like that, um, I encourage you to pray, anoint yourself, pay attention to the doors you have open in your life. Maybe there are some open doors. Maybe there are some areas of sin. There's a lot of things that may open that door to having nightmares, but there's different things that you can do. Pray and anoint yourself before bed. Read Psalm 23. Read Psalm 91. I love those passages of scripture, especially, you know, when that spirit of fear, it comes and tries to take over. I encourage you to meditate on those scriptures and to take those steps. Let's move on to the fourth verse. And it's Psalm chapter 4 verse 8 and it says I will lie down and sleep in peace for you alone O Lord make me dwell in safety another thing that may keep you from going to sleep at night is maybe you're not necessarily fearful of nightmares or things like that but you don't feel safe if I could be transparent I'm a parent I have two kids, two young kids, and a baby coming along the way. So I could be a helicopter mom and I can be very stalkerish, watching after my kids, making sure I'm protecting them, making sure they're safe. We have cameras around our house and different things like that um, to just make sure everyone's safe. But the Holy Spirit convicted me and he said, are you putting more faith in your cameras than you are putting in me? right sometimes we put faith in our cameras and our security systems and our alarm systems right but god never sleeps or slumbers the bible says he doesn't sleep or slumber he's watching after you 24 7. he got angels surrounding you 24 7. so don't put more faith in your security and your safety than you do in god of course it's okay to take those practical steps right that's totally fine but you have to know at the bottom of your heart at the end of the day that God is your protector. God is your shield. God is your covering in the name of Jesus. And nothing or no one is going to come near your tent because he has a hedge of protection around you. And you plead the blood of Jesus over yourself. And you plead the blood of Jesus over your children from the crown of their heads to the soles of your feet. And then you can go to sleep and rest. And you can go to sleep and enjoy sweet dreams, prophetic dreams. I'm a dreamer. I love to dream. So don't miss out on sleep. Don't miss out on the dream dreams and the ways that God is speaking to you. Maybe God speaks to some of you guys in your dreams and hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I feel like the Holy Spirit says God speaks to some of you in some of your dreams and the enemy uses fear as a tactic to keep you from going to sleep so that you don't have dreams so that God can't speak to you in that way. But that's a gift that he's placed on the inside of you. So you have to make sure to deal with that root of fear. Play worship music, play scriptures, meditate on these scriptures to really help you get past that fear and really get the rest that God desires for you. All right, so we're going to move on to the last scripture. And the fifth scripture is Matthew 11, verse 28. And it says, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. So a lot of the reasons that we talked about in this video of, you know, why maybe you're not getting sleep is maybe you're working too much, maybe, um, you know, you're fearful or maybe you're not comfortable that you're safe, right? And these are all mental things, right? These are things that you can tell yourself, okay, let me stop working or you can tell yourself, okay, let me not be afraid. A lot of it is mental, but there's also a very physical side to it where some people like, we sleep when we're tired, right? But there are some of you, and let me know if you can relate, there are some of you that you are too tired, you feel too tired to get rest. And it keeps you up at night and you have this insomnia and maybe you're just tired, you're, maybe you're a single mom, maybe you feel weary, you're tired of the day in, the day out, the hustle and bustle. Maybe you commute a long way to work and you're just tired and you're exhausted and you feel like you wasted your whole day working or you feel like you wasted your whole day 
doing chores and you stay up late at night because you're like okay oh, late at night it's, it's my time to you know it's my time to myself it's my time to watch movies it's my time to catch up on social media it's my time to do this and do that when you're really not missing out on anything but you feel like you're missing out on something because you feel so tired and worn down and god is saying if you're weary if you're burdened with the cares of this world just calm down just rest just slow down just lay them at my feet just come to me my daughter just come to me my son i care for you you don't have to worry about these things you're not missing out on anything you're exactly where i need you to be i'm leading you and i'm guiding your life trust in me i will give you rest for your soul so i just really hope that that encouraged you and i really hope that y'all are getting some good rest some sweet sleep that nothing is hindering that in your life if you know any other scriptures that encourage you to overcome fear anxiety and to get some rest and sleep leave it below to share because it may be a blessing to someone else and i also feel led to open up another opportunity for anyone who is interested if you're an entrepreneur or if you have your own business interested in starting a business and you're interested in working with me i love to teach entrepreneurs how to work from a place of thriving and not striving right and we have this mentality especially nowadays that we have to be striving right and getting no rest getting no sleep hustling all day in order to be successful but god has really given me the grace and the wisdom to know how to make the most out of my time the most out of my business to create scalable systems right so that i can do less work but get the results i deserve for the effort that i put in and to actually see the fruit of my labor so if you're interested in that stuff if you want to be an entrepreneur but you don't feel like you're doing it the right way then join me in my next webinar where i'm going to be teaching more about entrepreneurship how to scale and grow your business without paying for advertisements and all that extra stuff and click the link below in my description box in order to do that so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did leave it a thumbs up if it's your first time on my channel do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next youtube video until next time bye mm -hmm.